Hi Gabor, uh, okay, so uh, Gabor's one of my students and he's having trouble actually resizing the brush and he's making a pretty common mistake that a lot of people make. So um, let's have a look. I don't know why ZBrush have done this, but they've made it kind of weird the way you resize the brush stroke when you apply it. So um, I'm just gonna grab one of these uh, brushes here that we created in the jewelry design class and I've got my stroke set. Let's make it quite big. And then we come and we draw our stroke over the top of the surface, which is all very fine. And then what Gabor was doing, and this is where it gets a bit confusing. If you go into the stroke, you're gonna see it's gonna go pale blue. Uh, this allows you to kind of manipulate the stroke. And also if you come down to the end, you carry the stroke on like this, okay? which is all very well and good. But if you go over this and you press the space bar and you resize, if you click, nothing happens. It doesn't resize the stroke. And that's because you need to come over here and then you need to resize the brush itself, not the stroke brush. Now, when you click on it, it will go small. So if I make this really big, too big, it will go like this. So that's how you do it. Um, like that. So I made this quite small again. Um, so that is how you do it. You could also come up here and change it here. So that might be a good method as well, just to come up the top. Uh, but that's basically how you can create that, uh, change that brush stroke. You come off the brush and then you click it. You don't do it from here. Uh, it's really confusing because like if I do that, then it's crazy. I don't know why they've done that at all. Um, weird so changing the brush stroke is actually coming off and changing the brush stroke or going up here and clicking in here okay really simple 